Heroic Canadian truckers are continuing to dominate headlines around the world as they seek an end to the COVID mandates. Church Militant's Joe Gallagher shows that even while Trudeau is leveraging his forces against them, the Freedom Convoy is carrying on. Trudeau came out of hiding yesterday to slam the truckers, not to negotiate with them. Individuals are trying to blockade our economy, our democracy, and our fellow citizens' daily lives. It has to stop. The Prime Minister also let loose his minions while he figures out how to handle the historic uprising. Ottawa police are confiscating fuel from the convoy. We went after the funding. We're going after the fuel. This week, an Ontario Superior Court justice forbid the truckers from honking, deciding Ottawa residents' right for quiet supersedes the truckers' right to protest. But there's pushback from the people. Honking is vilified, but not the unfair termination of essential workers or the loss of the ability to hold a loved one in final days. A Canadian military veteran called out Trudeau. I didn't serve this country to be bullied by a prime minister that ran away like a chicken. Who runs away from their people? Even politicians lambasted Trudeau's treatment of the people. This country right now is like a raw nerve and the prime minister is jumping up and down on it with his inflammatory record, r- rhetoric. The effect of the convoy is stretching far and wide. 500 miles southwest of Ottawa, at the Detroit-Windsor border, the flow of truckers is blocked over the Ambassador Bridge. Meanwhile in Ottawa, the mayor is asking for more police, but the protesters say the government of Canada needs to sit down and talk with them. In breaking news, a key leader of the Freedom Convoy, Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky, was arrested today at his home in Calgary by armed police. The arrest came just before Pavlovsky was scheduled to speak to a trucker's blockade in Coots, Alberta. This is at least the fifth time the pastor has been arrested. 